What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my Instant Pot Duo Mini, which is basically a three quart pressure cooker. Tonight, I'm going to make an Instant Pot Roast. So, I'm going to take this out here. And this actually, this is two pounds. Let me see. Let's see what you can see here. Yep, that's what it is, two pounds. By the way, shout out to Bugs 500 US Chin Chin. Okay, she ready. All right guys, I'm just gonna throw like two tables, two or three tablespoons of butter in there. My bad, this is a three quart, make it one tablespoon. <laughs> I'm used to my six quart. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna brown all sides of the roast, so. Let that melt a little more and we'll put it in. All right. Even got some room there, look at that. All right, I flipped it. And now what I'm gonna do to each side that's done, I'm gonna um, season it with this complete seasoning. That side got all the fat right there. It's all good. I'm just about done. All right, time to add some water. Quiet all that up right there. That was about two cups of water, guys. I'm gonna drop a packet of this in there. This will help with seasoning and it will help with the, uh, the gravy. Yeah. So I'll put that on the sides. Sorry about that. Hit me one time. Alrighty, so we are gonna go for pressure cook. And we're gonna go for 60. I'm gonna go all the way up to 60 here. Yep. That should do it. I just came to pressure. I'll see you in an hour. Got my chop chop in the house again, y'all. About to cut up some red potatoes real quick. Close your ears. One, two, three. I'm gonna do one more. Nope, we'll just do one more. We'll do a small one. That's what we're looking like, y'all. like apples. <laughs> um, put some olive oil in there. That should be good enough. Put some garlic dash on it. Mix this all in. That's what we're looking like y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Spread them out nice and good. By the way, shout out to my Kitchen Gadgets group on Facebook one time. Y'all already know what it is. I feel sexy right now, so I'm going to add some fresh thyme to it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just got to do stuff like this, you know what I mean? <laughs> 
Alright, we right on track. Uh, we got about 40 minutes left on the um, on the roast, the pot roast. So um, these should take about 30 minutes in the. Um, oh, I'm putting this in my Breville Smart Oven Air. Um, I know people put it in with their uh, pressure cooker, but I personally I, I don't like that. So and also after 20 minutes, I'm gonna add this. This is from um, Aldi's. This is my favorite vegetable medley. And only Aldi sells it. It is awesome. If you go to Aldi's, definitely try it out. You won't be... You will be happy you tried it. Before I turn this machine on, look, 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 look. Look at all it could do right there. Ain't that... Come on now. That's sexy. Come on, tell the truth. Tell the truth. 450 for 30 minutes should be should be good. Hear that power? You hear it, right? You hear it. I almost forgot my onions, y'all. Wow. Set timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. 10 minutes have passed and these are looking pretty good. So, I'm gonna go ahead and add my frozen veggies right now. All right, we're done. My roast is done. It's time to release the pressure. Hit me. All right, this is what we're looking like. It's looking like how I would like it. I'm just gonna rotate it so this side could get some of the juices of the top. And then um, we're gonna be ready. I'll let it sit out for a little while and we'll cut into it. All right, y'all, this is what my roast looks like. Now, I know for some of y'all this is a little more well done than you would like it, but this is how I like it. So when you do it, you could do it from 40, 40 to 50 minutes, it'll be fine. Um, but this is perfect for me. So let me go ahead and look at um, the gravy in the inner pot and uh, thicken that up and uh, we'll play it and get ready to eat. Just added some cornstarch. It's a little, need to get a little bit thicker, but if it doesn't get much thicker than that than this, then that's okay. Cause we gotta eat right now anyway. My subscribers know I can't cut worth a darn. But we're gonna cut it anyway. Ain't gonna be no gourmet cut. Come on. There we go. Okay, that actually looks all right. Yeah, cool. All right, guys, let's go ahead and have a taste. That's what it looks like. As always, you first. Got it? Good. And actually, I could have did it for like an hour and twenty minutes. Mhm. Mm if I would do it again in my three quart, I probably would have added more water, like closer to four cups of water, and let it go for like an hour and twenty minutes. But y'all gotta try this potato with me. Look at that. Mmm. That is good. And lastly, 
my favorite all these men um vegetable medley uh, some of that mm. Man, that's just so good. Mm -mm -mm. Anywho, um, I'm going to put a link in the description uh, to my pressure cooker group. It's called Pressure Cooking with Doug. And um, yeah, we share our recipes and best practices. And hey, if you have a, um, a pressure cooker, it doesn't have to be an instant pot, whatever you got. Join my group and, um, you know, share your recipes too. But that's all I got, guys. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video. It's Cooking with Doug.